Hello, my name is Yongshan Ding. In this video, I'm going to introduce our recent quantum compiling software called Square, short for Strategic Quantum Ancilla Reuse. This is a joint work with my colleagues at UChicago, Intel, and Princeton. Needless to say, arithmetic logic is an important component of classical computation. In a classical computer architecture, we perform arithmetic logic by devising an arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, that consists of adder, subtractor, multiplier circuits, and so on. These circuits are implemented with bitwise Boolean operations, such as AND gates. Many quantum algorithms involve computing classical arithmetic functions as well. Some examples include the Shor's algorithm for factoring, the Grover's algorithm for database searching, and the HHL algorithm for solving linear system of equations. They usually have expensive arithmetic steps as subroutines. In the quantum case, arithmetic logic is implemented using quantum circuits where we perform reversible gates on a set of qubits. In the quantum circuit notation, Qubits are denoted as lines, and gates are denoted as boxes, which are applied to qubits in the order from left to right. So in th this example, G is applied before H. In a quantum circuit, gates must be reversible. AND gate, however, is not reversible because we cannot recover the two input bits, A and B, based solely on one output bit. To compute the end gate end function reversibly, we can use an ancillary qubits to store the output out of place, resulting in a so-called Toffley gate. These, ancilla, these ancillary qubits are called ancilla, and by convention, they are initialized to zero. In general, for a function with n bit input and m bit output, we design a circuit use of f that takes the input qubits plus some ancilla and produce output qubits plus some garbage. Garbage can store the old input or any arbitrary scratch information. Next, we're going to discuss how to implement a quantum program consisting of these functions on a quantum computer efficiently. The first problem for implementing use of F on a quantum computer is to select the best qubits to perform the computation. A quantum computer is made of, for example, a 2D array of qubits, denoted as dots here. We map, a quantum, we map the quantum circuit to the selected qubits for computation. U sub f may contain two qubit gates, which require qubit-qubit interactions. So it will be beneficial to allocate nearby qubits, which with low uh, communication costs, especially for functions with frequent two qubit gates. Qubit allocation is also about reusing qubits. For example, at the end of use of f, if some qubits were reset to zero, then we are free to reuse them for future computation. Pictorially shown here for the qubits indicated by the blue lines, an intelligent qubit allocator must know how to strategically Dis dis distribute those reusable qubits. Now, the second problem is to clean up garbage qubits. Shown here, U sub f produces three garbage qubits and two output qubits. Suppose the output qubits are the input to another function, U sub g. If we were careless when putting the computations together, garbage qubits could accumulate quickly. Worse yet, the garbage qubits may be entangled with the output qubits, which means that if an error occurred to the garbage, the output will be corrupted as well. Fortunately, we can reset and reclaim the ancilla qubits and disentangle the output from the garbage by uncomputation. This is a process where we store the output out of place and then perform the inverse of the original computation. As a result, the ancilla qubits are restored to zero at the cost of extra gates used for, 
for uncomputation and extra space for storing the output. In this example, three ancillas are freed with the cost of gates in store and use of F inverse. If qubits are reclaimed timely, then we can prevent garbage from accumulating too quickly. In fact, with moderate increase in gate costs, qubit reclamation can be done strategically to reduce the overall qubit usage and communication costs of a quantum circuit. This is precisely the aim of uh, the square algorithm. Specifically, Square is a quantum compiling software that automates the process of qubit allocation and reclamation. From left to right, we can see that a quantum program, how a quantum program goes through the compiler. The core of the compiler is the heuristic algorithms that we call locality aware allocation and cost effective reclamation. The compiler produces schedule of quantum gates for the underlying um, architecture as output. We illustrate how the square algorithm works on an example program. We start by drawing its program call graph. By inspecting the program, we found that the main function calls function one and two, and function three and four are called within function one. So we can draw the call graph like this. Each function allocates some number of ancilla. So we can choose whether or not to reclaim them at the end of each function. Square is a heuristic algorithm that makes allocation and reclamation decisions by deferred search on the graph. In particular, it makes allocation decisions when entering the node of a call graph by allocating the available qubits with the minimum communication costs. Square's, Square makes reclamation decisions when exiting a node based on cost benefit analysis. Square algorithm compares the cost of reclamation versus that of no reclamation. We would like to draw attention to two leading factors highlighted in blue here namely the communication costs in the, no reclaim, in the no reclaim case and the gate costs in the reclaim case. Without timely reclamation, qubits are occupied by garbage, shown uh, as red dots in this uh, three by three qubit grid. As a consequence, the interactions between blue available qubits are separated further apart hence drastically increasing the communication cost. We will later see that this contributes significantly to the overall gate cost in near-term quantum architectures. Next, recursive recomputation happens commonly in nested programs, which we will explain in the next slide. Given a nested program where function one is the parent of function two, we consider two different decisions on whether or not to reclaim qubits in each function. Decision one, suppose we uncompute function one, but not function two. As a result, function one inverse and function two inverse are applied as follows. Second, suppose both function one and function two are uncomputed. First, we have function two inverse, then we take the inverse of function one as a whole. Notice that here function two are recomputed. Re Therefore, the cost of uncomputing a parent function can lead to uncomputed lead to recomputation of the children functions. In our experiments, we call the top strategy the lazy baseline, where qubit reclamation is done only at the top level of a multi-level nested program. We call the bottom strategy the eager baseline, where all functions are uncomputed. Square finds a middle ground with a balanced cost. We evaluate the impact of Square under two different settings. A noisy intermediate scale architecture 
or a fault-tolerant architecture. The two architectures differ in many ways. For example, communication costs is estimated differently. In the NISC noisy intermediate scale quantum architecture, two qubits interact by moving closer to one another via a chain of swap gate. So the time to uncompute a swap chain is proportional to the length of the chain. Furthermore, in the NISC architecture, we care about the success rate of a program under qubit decoherence and gain noise. Hence, the, uh, hence we quantify the impact of square on the success rate by simulation of noisy quantum circuits. The result of a simulation is a probability distribution of circuit measurement outcome. So we use total variation distance to compare the distribution of a noisy circuit with that of an ideal one. In the fault tolerant architecture, such as a surface code error corrected device, two qubits interact by braiding, which can extend to arbitrary length in constant time, but cannot cross. Instead of success rate, a fault tolerant architecture aims to lower the resource cost. We quantify the cost by uh, a metric called active quantum volume, which tracks the total time that each qubit is in use for computation. Looking at the results of NISC experiments, we found that Square outperforms the baseline algorithms. Here, lower total variation distance means higher success, higher circuit success rate. We, have, we observed that with too little on computation in the lazy baseline, garbage qubits accumulates, which increases the communication cost and increases the chance of qubit decoherence. Surprisingly, when comparing lazy with square, the additional gates for uncomputation reduces the total number of operations, thanks to a substantial reduction in swap gates, as ancilla qubits with better locality are actively reclaimed and reused. With too much uncomputation in the eager baseline, their circuit fidelity is brought down by due to the substantial gate cost. The benchmarks here being tested are common combi combinational logic circuits, as well as some synthetic benchmarks with different program call graph structures. These circuits have 10 to 12 qubits with a few hundred gates. And the simulations are all performed on the IBM Quisket Air simulator with very with realistic uh, noise models. The benefit of square algorithm is also clear for fault tolerant experiments. In this figure, lower active quantum volume means lower resource cost. By, strate by strategically reusing qubits, square reduces the overall resource cost by a factor of 1.5 on average and 9.6 in the best case with respect to the lazy baseline. Highlighted in green is the partial contribution from locality aware allocation in Square. We found that Square can only consistently outperforms other baselines when both locality aware allocation and cost effective reclamation are applied. To sum up, we present a systematic study on the impact of on computation on um, circuit success rate for NISC architectures and on resource costs for fault tolerant architectures. Square is a heuristic algorithm for strategic qubit allocation and reclamation under realistic constraints such as qubit decoherence, gate noise, and communication. Our paper will be presented at ISCA 2020 session 4B. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.